I had like the Latin sensibilities mm. because you know we played a lot in the hotels. And then when this started, this was so herky jerky that the, the sky. you had to you had to stop and think about what you're going to put on top of that or alongside of that. It, it it gave me a hard time, man. But <laughs> I didn't I didn't have no quit in me. Right. I wanted to play this. This is imagine. where I wanted to go with it. I can imagine right? that you know? because you know you think of ska, and I don't really think of any hand drums, even like really bingy drums or anything, you know. And so, I mean, for you to be in that mix trying to figure out, I've got this picture here. I think it's from that era. Can you tell us who you're like? Who who is this here? Is this the Scatolites? This is the Carlos Malcolm and the Afro Jamaicans. Oh, nice. nice. The two dancers in front. The one on the left is Derek Harriet. Wicked. Wow. And. The one on the right is Alfonso Castro from Teenage Dance Party. That's me on the Congo behind him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beside me is Les Samuels on tenor saxophone. Wow. On beside him was Cannonball Brian. Mm -hmm. The drummer was Freddie Campbell. And beside him was Winston Turner first trumpet and Ozzy Lawson was in the, uh, the other trumpeter. To my right, you'll see the bell of Carlos's, to my left, the, yeah. the bell of Carlos's trombone. Right. Sticking out from backstage. Yeah, I see that. And what are you guys, are you guys playing, I don't know what year this is, are you playing ska or what are you playing here? It looks like they're dancing this with, like if, if it's ska. The, it, so what, the, what is it? If they're, if, if they're doing that, it was a ska tune, yeah. Right. Yeah. And 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 you can you can explain this a little more, but you know as a, you know Devin and I have been listening to Jamaican music for a bit, and, and the impression we get, and you can clarify this, is that, you know the ska was definitely a lot different from bands like a, a Byron Lee type ska or like a Carlos, compared to like a ska, yeah. Lights, right? It was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was, you see the two bands you name. Mm -hmm. They had, they had um, a kind of musicality that, this is me thinking this, right? That they didn't right. want to like compromise too much. Right. You know, but they definitely had the musicians who could play it, but it was like a choice. Whereas Tommy and Roland and those guys who were in the studio recording this stuff with all these artists day after day after day. They had nailed that sucker down, <laughs> you True. know, and yeah, they, 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 they set that stuff. They defined it more, I would you know? say, right? It's, they, they were more the definition oh. of what ska is, right? Oh, they, they said it. Yeah, they said it, yeah. You know, they, they like the, the, the whole horns thing. Yeah. Oh. Was, yeah, there, was there was there was there like a little bit of like animosity like this whole okay the hotel circuit versus you know the real deal like the street sky <laughs> was there yes yeah, yes yeah, kind of yeah it was a little bit a little bit you know <laughs> it has to be a little, a little strain and you know yeah yeah of course because like okay you working from December to April, you're getting good money. Mm -hmm. And that could almost take you back to the next December. Mm. But, you know, so you coming down there now, are you coming, you coming in the studio and messing with somebody hustling, you can't, <laughs> you know? Right, right. But it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like serious. It's just a little. Yeah, a little. You know, little vibes like, and whatnot, like uh, you know, mild classism or something like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. 